Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Zosha, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use the threshold effect in Photoshop. I'm gonna be working with this photo I found on Unsplash by the photographer Jimmy Furman. The first thing I'm gonna add is a threshold adjustment layer. So I'm gonna click my adjustment layers and threshold. The problem with threshold is it's hard to find a place where there's a good amount of detail in the entire photo. If I pull the threshold down here, I can see detail in her eyes and her hair really well. But then of course, you see nothing in her shirt and her necklace. If I bring it way up here, I start to see the detail in her necklace, but nothing in her face. So I'm gonna start with my threshold pretty low, kind of the lowest I'd want it to be anywhere on the photo. So right here is good. And then I'm gonna click on the photo again and add an adjustment layer of curves. So it's between the photo and the threshold layer. I'm gonna pull the right side of this line all the way down till the photo looks really, really dark. I'm gonna invert the curves mask by hitting Command I, and then using a white brush with no hardness, I'm gonna to start to paint on some of these areas that are completely blown out. I'll bring my opacity down so it's a little more gradual. I wanna get a little bit more detail on her hair, on her ear. Let's get her chin here. And I wanna be able to see her, the detail in her glasses. Okay, that looks pretty good. There's still some places like in her hands that the threshold completely wipes out any of the detail. So by adding noise to the photo, you can actually increase some of the details. So I'm gonna click on the photo and go up to filter, noise, add noise. And even just by adding a tiny bit of noise, you can see so much more detail in some of the mid-tones of the photo. That's a good amount. Okay, and then to add a pop of color, I'm gonna duplicate the photo and bring it on top of the threshold. Using my magic wand, I'm gonna select the red in her lips. and create a mask. And you might need to do some cleanup by hand. And then I'm gonna double click into this layer and I'm gonna pull this up down here so that the red doesn't show where the blacks are underneath. It just helps it blend in a little bit better with the photo. Very important last step with this effect is adding some texture on top. If you wanna learn about creating your own textures, you can watch my video about textures in the link above. And there's also a link to free texture downloads in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about the threshold effect. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this and I'll see you in the next video.